Hey folks, my name is Zach Brammer. We're getting any more Hyundai here in Bloomington, Indiana. Um, but I've taken a 2022 Honda HRV um, all-wheel drive sport in lunar silver metallic um, with a black cloth interior um, out for a test drive. So what we're gonna do today is we'll take a walk around the outside of the vehicle, take a look at some of the interior features. We'll take it for a drive back to the dealership. And then at the end, um, I go over the warranty and anything I may have missed. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below, hit like, hit subscribe, it helps the channel. Well, let's get right into it. All right, folks, so we're gonna start at the back left of the vehicle here. Take a look at the wheels. So this vehicle gets 26 city, 31 highway for a combined average of 28 miles per gallon. Um, I really like the black wheels here on the Sport and it's got a dark chrome uh, front end piece here. I'll show you up close. I'm really liking the dark chrome up there by the logo. And I'm a really big fan of the uh, door handle placement for the second row. So the door handle is actually up top here. Super easy to get into. I like it a lot. Makes it look more aerodynamic. Here's a view from the back. We'll open up the cargo area here. So definitely quite a bit of space. Underneath here, you do have a spare tire and your, uh, I don't see a jack, but I see, oh, the jack's down here. So you got the jack, tools to fix. Right here, you can fold down the seats just by flipping this. Folds completely flat. So next, we'll hop in the back seat, and then after that, we'll hop in the front. All right, folks, so before we hop in the back seat here, show you what it looks like when it's completely lifted up so you do have plenty of storage right up here great for uh, a big dog or something like that um, or if you just need the seats up but we're going to fold these back down here all right so in my videos what i like to do is i like to hop in the back seat to show you exactly how much leg room there is I'm about six foot two. The pat or the driver's seat is all the way back, um, and then the passenger seat is about midway through the tracks, so you can kind of get a good estimation of what leg room is like. And the Honda does a pretty good job of kind of cutting in where the knee is going to go. My knee is not actually touching, but it just looks um, like it is. It's just really close. Let's hop over to the other side here, and then plenty of space over here. Quite spacious here um, in the back row, even with the chair all the way back. Um, no sort of um, armrest here, but down here you do have a 12 volt power outlet, um, a single cup holder. The doors do have cup holders, you can see right there. And the headrests are super low. This was kind of digging into my back, but they do raise up like that. And I think they may go a little higher. Yeah, so it does go a little bit higher. So yeah, pretty perfect back row, um, even for somebody that's uh, average, average height. So what we'll do is we'll hop in the front seat and then we'll go from there. All right, so I do really like the uh, aluminum pedals down below. And then you do have your gas cap opener and your uh, hood opener um, in a pretty easy spot. Down below the gear shifter, you do get two USB outlets as well as another 12 volt outlet. We'll hop in the front seat here, mechanical front seat. Go through everything and then we'll take a deeper dive. All right, so starting here over on the left uh, side of the steering wheel, we have your audio controls as well as your phone controls and your voice assistant. So this does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which you can use this button to control Siri um, or Google. You have your cruise control settings on the right side. You have these pretty cool paddle shifters for the simulated gears um, on both left and right. Left is down, uh, right is up. I've got a plus and a minus letting you know. Um, so you have your headlight controls on this side, your front and rear uh, wiper on the right side. Here is what the tachometer looks like analog, but it does have um, time of day, temperature, um, and trip information, although all on the right side over there. 
so your hazard button um, is actually right here underneath the uh, vent here. You, here is your infotainment center. We'll make that go back to the main screen. And then you have some vents over here that are closed. We'll open those up. And then you have physical uh, dials for temperature, so all the way cold. Um, then you have four different settings, uh, single temperature, you have your, uh, where you want it to come out from, um, then you have just your normal uh, gear shifter with uh, park, reverse, neutral, drive, uh, and sport. Then you have your electronic parking brake and your brake hold button, which is pretty cool. Um, and then over here in the cup holder section, we've got a mini cup holder right there, which is pretty cool. So if you get one of those small Starbucks cups that go all the way down, you can just press this and then it'll hold it in place. And then you've got one for the other side as well. So you've got two of them. Here in the center console, uh, extremely tiny, nothing uh, fancy on the inside. Um, take a look at the cloth seat here. And I forgot we didn't go over the back here. You got a manual um, rear view mirror, manually dimming, and then you've got your lights up here, vanity, no vanity light, but you do have a vanity mirror. Um, so what we'll do is I'll get this hooked up to the window and we'll take it for a test drive back to the dealership. All right, folks, so you can see the different backup cameras here. We've got a straight back, a fish eye, as well as an above view. Use the straight back here. So I'm actually pretty impressed with this uh, HRV. Um, definitely handles really nice, even for like this 90 degree corner. You don't have to turn the steering wheel more than uh, 90 degrees. Super tight, responsive. Uh, the accelerator's a little bit lacking. It's got great brakes, though. Those are the brakes. So once we go through the next stoplight, we'll give it a little bit of gas. See what sort of power it has. Again, it's not a sports car by any means. So I don't expect it to have much, but it is pretty, pretty peppy for a small, compact. SUV. Sorry, the camera fell off. So what we'll do is we'll come around this corner and we'll give it a little bit of gas. See what sort of power we're working with at a slow roll. So, yeah, it definitely takes a little bit of time to get up. But the steering control that you have when it's going up it's definitely pretty top-notch. And that's one thing I wanted to mention about pretty much everything in this HR, but everything's super solid. It feels real solid, well-built. Uh, steering wheel, uh, the doors, even the gear shifters, super solid. Definitely impressed. So we're back at the dealership. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go inside. Uh, we'll talk about the warranty information, and then we will go over anything I may have missed. All right, folks. Once again, that was the 2022 Honda HRV Sport uh, in all-wheel drive. Now the gas mileage again on this is 26 City uh, 31 Highway. 
It is the four cylinder 1.8 liter engine with CVT transmission, lunar silver metallic with black cloth. Um, I was going to load everything um, here. So the basic warranty for the new Hondas is um, three years or 36,000 miles. The drivetrain warranty is five years or 60,000 miles. You also get three years, 36,000 mile roadside assistance. Um, let me see if I may have missed anything here. It's not looking like it. I pretty much got everything um, that I wanted to hit, um, even the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, if you guys have any questions um, about the HRV in general, it is getting, uh, I don't know if it's complete redesigned, but they are changing it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's full redesign or facelift for 2023. So as soon as uh, our Honda dealership gets one of those, I'll try to make a video going over that. I've seen some, um, renders online of what it'll look like and it looks pretty neat um, but i know they've only put out one picture of the tail light essentially so uh, if you guys have any questions leave a comment below um, if you made it this far hit like hit subscribe helps the channel out uh, we're on the road to 500 subscribers so uh over halfway there uh but a few about 140 to go i believe so until the next one have a great day see you soon